Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Uh, today I will talk about the three things, three main things I love about Finland. And the top among all is the Finns' honesty. For me, the Finns are very very honest in that way that uh, if you drop something on anywhere like if you are walking on the street and then you drop something and then you kind of think that where could it be if someone found it then you are you can be uh, rest assured you can be rest assured that it's either someone will contact you if there's some contact number in there or if you go to the police station then uh, you can go in the lost and found and there it's a big possibility that it's there so and because of that there's also this safety in here it's pretty safe i don't think that someone will just steal you when you're walking on the street you know and kids in here now that kids are back to school they are using bicycle going to school and it's pretty safe so it's like connected those honesty and safety and the number two uh, the second thing i like about finland is this uh, school system uh, now kids are back in the school and you know that i don't need to go to the to the bookstore and buy everything for them before the school starts i only have to buy their okay pens and all those stuff and their bag but i don't need to take care of all the books and all those things even they have those pens and pencil case and all those things there is still stuff that can be used from the school and if they have some projects then it's maybe sometimes they ask something that okay you can bring like one thing but then most of the materials are uh, given from the school itself and that i was so much happy when actually when we have this uh, uh when they have this home school they have to go to the school at some point they have those uh their plastics are like hanging in in front of the school and they have to pick up in there something which is named uh, which is uh, based on their name they have everything what they need so the teachers prepared everything in there for them so it's ready for for them to use i don't need to buy anything and it's really it's really nice so it's a big relief for parents and then the lunch break they have a full lunch break food for them i mean there's really the a proper lunch there's a warm meal and they have drinks in there and sometimes they have dessert and it's really really cool because then i don't need to wake up so early prepare for them lunch that they can bring to school and you know so it's it's really pretty cool thing and i myself has been a student in here i don't have the free lunch in the school because i was already in the uh in the bachelor's degree and so i have some payment in there but it's very very minimum it's cost like two euro something which is like come on lunch in here could cost like 10 euro up but for students it's very very low and you have everything there's like potato warm food and there's like like salad bread in there and drinks like milk and juice and water and but for small kids it's mostly milk and water and you can check in between like what are those food for this week they are available somewhere that you can check and if there's some special diet then the kitchens needs to know about it so you can have it like ready in there uh, beforehand so they know if there's some allergies or if there's some special diets then it's taken into account so you don't have to worry about it so that is one thing i really really like about about this school system in, in finland and of course one important thing it's it's free nowadays there are so much um uh, well there has been some changes that there are some uh, in the higher education or in the universities and those uh, bachelor's degrees there is some payment there's some tuition but uh, if there are also some vocational schools that are still free and if you're a citizen in here or a residence in here then it's free for everyone 
the third which as I like most in this especially this summertime and autumn time is the every man's rights you can go to forest it's privately or publicly owned it doesn't matter as long as you go there in the forest and you pick up berries you can pick up mushrooms and in the uh, shooting season also they are shooting elk and let's say this August there's those ducks and also the birds then because they are controlling those also so you can eat uh, you can uh, do it in there even someone owned the forest you can just do it in there as long as you don't make any harm in there of course so if you are hungry <laughs> no, not really. but if you are just if you want to pick up some berries that you want to consume for the whole year or you want to sell just go to the forest and pick up it's up to you so those are the three things that i love most about finland i like and i love most in here are those uh, safety and honesty and the second one is the school system and the third every month's rights that is something that i really really enjoyed living here in finland those are the top trees and of course there are many 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 things i like and i love in finland but those are the top trees so thank you for watching and bye i hope you subscribe in our channel